Custom ornaments are a proven bestseller on Etsy, but creating personalized listings one by one can be a huge waste of time. I'm going to teach you the exact method that turns one simple idea into several unique live listings. We'll use my designs to automate the creation and publishing process to push our products to Etsy, and then use Printify through my designs to automate order fulfillment, showing you how to scale your shops and products fast. Let's get started. All right, first, let's do a bit of research. So the type of ornament I'm looking to sell is the ceramic ornament. It has four different shapes. Very popular ornament through Imagine Your Photos through Printify. And of course, you can publish these right through my designs by linking your Printify account. And if you have Printify Premium, this is $4.50 plus $5.69 for shipping. Production times right now are great. So during quarter four, you could absolutely crush it. So now let's go and do a little bit of product research. So I've already went ahead and did that. I'm over on eHunt here and I did custom pet portrait. And you can see there's a lot of demand already and it's we're not even in the peak of quarter four yet. It's just at the start. See this one right here? This is exactly the type of ornament I wanna sell. So 66 cells over the last seven days, 3,417 cells, and this thing hasn't even been up for a year. And the profit margin on this particular one, I believe around six or $7. If you go down a little bit more, you got this one here, 49 cells over the last seven days. This one has been up for almost a year. As of tomorrow or October 6th, it'll be a full year. And I'm gonna go look at this listing directly, but look at this, 3,766 cells. And if I pull that up over here, they're charging $16.99 plus $5.99 for shipping. So what is that, like $23 basically? And if you look again at Printify, it's just over $10 of Printify Premium to print and ship this. So they are making, you know, around $11 profit, maybe 12 per order. And it's a great item. This particular listing over the course of one year has probably made about $34,000 in profit. All right, so now that you understand that, let's get to the fun stuff. I'm going to go back to my designs. And we are going to go to Dream AI. Well, first, let's go to listings. Let's create our folder. Uh, under Home, I got Christmas ornaments. I'm going to click in here. So I'm already in this folder. And I'm gonna go add a new folder. I'm gonna say pet ornaments. Let's call it custom pet ornaments. This is just the name of the folder. And under template type, what I'm going to do is actually go to save templates. I created one for you guys. It has a description already set up. So custom ornaments printify, you'll find that here. Click that, add folder. Let's click into it and now open folder. All right, so we have our folder set up. Now we need to create designs that we can save to this folder. So let's go over to Dream AI. And I have some preset prompts. We've got Nano Banana, it's just a fantastic model. You do not have to be a graphic designer anymore. So what I'm gonna do is take this prompt and I'm just gonna do two examples to keep this short, but you could scale this up and do various dog breeds if you wanna take up more real estate on Etsy, various cat breeds, but I'm just gonna keep it general, just go one or two dog breeds, one or two cat breeds, maybe just one of each. All right, so the prompt here, again, Nano Banana, we got the one one aspect ratio, do four images. Uh, we can just actually make that two. So a watercolor dog portrait of a miniature schnauzer dog, white background. I'm just gonna say, we can go with the miniature schnauzer, that's fine. So I'm gonna run that just so you can see how that works. It only costs four credits, it's a very affordable model um, and it's fast. So while that's running, I'm gonna go adjust this to a, of a, we'll just do this. Watercolor cat portrait, white background, that's it. Just one simple prompt, keeping the background white because these ornaments it'll look great on. Um, and when I have these two images, you can see how fast this is. All right, so we could, yeah, this is good. We'll go with this one here. I'm gonna select it like that by clicking it. Let's go down and find which one I like best here. Probably this one. Again, you could recreate this. They're going to be custom, meaning the, the user can actually just upload their photos, give them to you, and then we could customize the listing for them right here in my designs. So now that I have those selected, I'm gonna go save listings. And all I gotta do here is upscale this. You don't need to remove the background or anything like that. We wanna upscale just to increase the resolution of the image, meaning it's gonna have a higher print quality. And that shouldn't take very long. Then we'll move over to the listings page. It's already saving it to our folder, the custom pet ornaments you can see here. And then we can get right to it. All right, it's already done. Let's go to listings now. And you can see that there's already a populated description for you. For that ornament, we got the different shapes, circle, heart, star, snowflake, etc. It's a de default template for your description. You can adjust it. It's going to input your title here too, which is great for keywords. But yeah, this is ready to go. So I want to do one more thing because we're going to personalize these. So I'm going to select all two of them and then go to canvas. And what we're going to do is go to templates and we're going to type in ornament and look through the different products. The one we're looking for is this one, ceramic ornaments, four shapes. Now I'm gonna click on Printify, imagine your photo. 
Now these are various uh, sizes here. You can see the different templates for the shapes. I'm just gonna go with the round one and base it around that. And then you can adjust it during the publishing process. So let's go add listing file. Now add to all. And I did remove the background. So when you save from Dream, I recommend that. Otherwise you can go to um, edit photo and just remove the background here. Because I want to be able to just select this and make the background white on both of these. All right, so now with that being said, let's get this adjusted how we need it. I wanna keep the main part of the face in here. Let's do the same thing with the cat. All right, I think that's good. And now I'm gonna to go to bridge text, add text. Let's go back to the dog. And let's make this a bit bigger. And just, oops, go name it Axel. Again, this will be the pet name because we are adding this to Canvas now. I'm gonna adjust the font to regular, meaning that we can adjust this on the orders page itself in the future. So that is what we want. All right, I think that is good. Now I'm gonna copy that. Oops, I mean to paste there and go over to this one. Paste it here and just say Cosmo, like give it a cat name, make that a little up there a little more and then that's good. So now what we need to do, this is really important, go to save and we're going to actually overwrite the original and save it as edible. You want to save it as edible because now when the personalized order comes into my designs, you can click personalize right on the orders page, adjust the pet name, upload the photo of the, the cat or the dog. Go to Dream and make the changes and turn it into the exact watercolor art style, whatever style the customer wants. Uh, but anyway, save as edible, overwrite. And from there, I'm gonna input the title and the tags. So I already have these done. I already did a bit of research through, again, through Merch Titans here under free tools, went to Etsy keyword research, did custom pet, came down, you can see custom pet ornament, 2,900 searches. There's also other related um, ornaments here in Memorial, another probably good one, Remembrance, there's different keywords there. But anyway, that's where I did a lot of research. It's really fast and it's free. So let me go back. I already have the titles and tags done. So I'm gonna copy these over. I actually have the dog one already in there. And let's put the tags here. And I will share both the title and the tags for you in the description of this YouTube video, because these are, these are well optimized in my opinion. So I think that you can just go run with these. And let's put the cat one in here. It's very similar, just slightly different for cat specifically. All right, so we have both of these ready. So I made this so easy to go publish. So all you do is go publish, go to public profiles, and look for this custom ornaments printed. If you need to search it, you can just search it here. You can see it's the Imagine Your Photos. It's got all the shapes from Printify. So let's load profile. And the reason I do that is because I already have pricing in place for you. Got the mock up selected. Uh, all you gotta do is just adjust everything accordingly. All right, so you see it's already populating these. So let's go and make sure under Canvas for each of these shapes that those designs look good. So click Canvas. The star one looks pretty good, but it needs to go down a bit. And again, I wanna make the background white on all these. So you can just click this Activate Background here and it'll open this up here and turn off Transparency. And that way you can, you can make the background whatever color you want, but I'm gonna do white. And you can see that's applying it to both of these, but we need to adjust this one more. We need to make it smaller. I don't want the ears to get cut off in this case. I think that's probably good. And save. Now we can save that and go back and just basically do the same thing for all of these. Do one more for you while you're here. That one looks pretty good, maybe just a bit smaller. Make sure it's centered. All right, that'll do. And again, let's go down to the next and activate background. This one's a little bit different as you can see the hearts, uh, the area here, you don't want that text to be cut off. So that will do, maybe go up a bit. And this one definitely needs adjusted. All right, that'll do. One more, sorry this is taking a second, but it's good for you to see the full process. This one can actually be bigger. Um, that'll probably do right there. Activate background, turn the transparency background off. This one needs adjusted. And I think that's probably good. All right, and let's preview the mockups. You can see auto-generate video mockups already turned on. So you give this a second, make sure all those look good. I think that's pretty good. And again, if I wanna to go to the other listing and click over here to preview it, it's for the cat. If you need to make any changes to just one of those, you can specifically do that here again under Canvas. But yeah, these are pretty good. All right, so there are more mockups. You can get some Printify mockups here if you want or more My Designs mockups. You got the general white background, but I picked just the basic ones that look the best. And let's move to the next step, populate data. And because we already put titles, descriptions, and tags in for both of these, 
we're good to go. So choose prices. You see that's already populated. I built the pricing profiles for these based on a 50% discount on your store. So if you don't want to run a 50% off discount, then just adjust the pricing accordingly. And this will pull in your exact cost from Printify. So on this demo account, I don't have Printify Premium. That's why it's 622. But if you do have Printify Premium, it'll show that there. All right, now let's go to the next step. Etsy, everything's here. So publications gonna be Etsy. You choose your shop. This is our demo shop. Categories already selected, home and living, home decor, seasonal decor, ornaments. And down here, if you don't have a production partner added to Etsy, I would just leave these default settings. You can adjust that on Etsy after. But otherwise, everything's good. So personalization field, this one, I just did this example here, um, which I think is good. So enter the name of you want on your ornament below. Example, Axel. After submitting your order, please send me your photo through Etsy messages. So that's it. And personalization required. So let's go ahead and just publish this. And you'll see how fast. Let's go over to Etsy. And then I will go over to Etsy after they're done. Show you what those look like. We can publish them. And then I want to show you the actual order flow too. So I'll actually place a demo order that will come through so you can see how the personalization side works. All right, so those are already done. If I click the notification bell up here, you can see all the listings succeeded. So let's go over to our demo shop and refresh. So again, I'm under listings, under draft. That's where we're going to push them. Got our two uh, listings here. So I'm actually just going to publish these. And you can see what those look like. So now... This is the listing here. Let's view it on Etsy. So I might want to adjust the primary to probably be the circle of ornament. I believe that's the most popular. So otherwise, I'm not running 50% off either, but you can see here, add personalization, got our message, put it in there, got the different shapes available as well. So what I'm going to do is actually place the demo order through Etsy, just give it a, and then I'll show you the order side in my designs and how that ends up in Printify. All right, so I placed a demo order and sent a message to the store owner so you can see the full flow. And now under orders, you see there's one pending because it's personalized. So I ordered that star uh, ornament. Let's click on this. It's got the preview here. You can see the personalization from the customer on Etsy. And so what you need to do, this is really easy. So go edit files. And now to pop up this for you, you can see that these are just different layers now. They're editable. So I can delete that photo. I can adjust this. You can see the personalization. Here's Buddha. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it in here, make it a little smaller. And now what we need to do is go over to Etsy. So let's go here under, well, we got orders here. Let's go to orders first. You see the order placed. Now I want to actually go to messages. The customer has messaged me, as you can see in this case. So it's like, hello, here's the photo for my recent order. And it's got a photo of their pet. So I'm gonna just download this. Pet, let's call it pet, that'll work. Now let's go back to order. Let's go back to dream. Go change this to image to image remix. And I'm gonna actually grab that uh, pet photo. So we're gonna put that in here. And for the prompt, I wanna apply probably the same config here. So from that previous prompt, whoops, we need to go back. Watercolor dog portrait, let's get rid of this. White background, keep the same resemblance. Of the attached dog. Let's try that. So a very basic prompt. Uh, make sure I spell that properly. And now what I'm going to do is generate four of these just so we can get variations and see what this looks like. So we got that going right here and all we can do is just add it, remove the background and we're done. So personalization is so easy. You can do it in absolutely any style you want. So if the customer wants something unique, then you can do that. But all right, look at these already. So let's go ahead and add one of these. I mean, that looks amazing. So what I could do now is just add that, edit photo, BG remover 1.5, very cost effective and fast background remover. And let's remove the background on that. And there we go. So now I could just, if I wanted to make that bigger so it's more of the face, the upper part of the dog, I can go just like that and overwrite. And what will happen now is it'll generate a new mockup and you can, you can just download that and share as a proof with the uh, seller if you like, you don't have to but you can see it's being modified, so it takes a second. And then what I'll do after that is submit it. You can see it's gonna to go to Printify. So we don't charge you anything for Printify orders. Whatever they charge you, that's the price you get. So it's amazing, and look at that. Look at that. So you can download this if you wanna send the customer proof to make sure they approve of it. In most cases, they're gonna love it. So all I gotta do at this point is it's ready to go. I'm gonna approve order. And you can see that's going to the My Designs demo shop on Printify, that's the name of it. So if I go over to Printify, it should probably already be there. Let me refresh the dashboard. Let's go make sure we're under the right account, under my store, my designs demo. Now let's go to orders. 
And there is the order. I have it set on hold because you can see approval set to manual. But if I click on this, you could see, we can go into the actual order itself, edit order. And you got the photo there. Everything is literally ready to go. Exactly as is. So basically on the Printify side, if you have everything set to be automated, it'll just go right into production. When the tracking number uh, comes through, it'll come over to us, to my designs, and it'll automatically go to the Etsy order and mark it as complete. But that is the full flow. I wanted to make sure you understood that. It's really cool. And again, if you need to share a proof, you can download that and send it to the seller here. But it's really cool, uh, full flow process. And in the very near future, you'll be able to automate a lot of the personalization aspects of most orders that are more in the simpler way, but with very high advanced styling, whatever you want. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know by leaving a comment below and let me know what type of video you'd, you would like to see next. We'll see you soon.